Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract two four-digit numbers and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. Now let's have a look at our first example. What is 8,672 minus 4,387. Now the first method we're going to use is we're going to start on the left-hand side the thousands. So let's just label those. We have 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is Four. So that is 4,000. Next we've got the hundreds. So we've got 6. The hundreds we've got is 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we've got 300. Nice and simple so far. How about the tens? Okay, for the tens is 7 minus 8. So what is 7 minus 8? Well, 7 minus 8, you know this from your negative numbers, is minus 1. Okay, I'm not going to add that on just yet. Let's just do the units as well. For the units, we've got 2 minus 7. Now again, this is a negative number. 2 minus 7 is minus 5. Okay, now what we're going to do is, the number on the right, because we are adding these, I'm just going to add these first. So we've got 4,300, just adding the columns together. Okay, now we're going to add the tens. Okay, we're not adding, we're actually subtracting. So we've got minus 1, okay. Now that 1 is a 10, so therefore it's minus 10. Don't forget, we've also got to do the minus 5. Okay. And what we can do is, we can actually combine these together and just say minus 15. So it's 4,300, the number over here, minus 15. Well, we know what that is. It's 4,300 minus 15. You should know this from your number bonds. 300 minus 15 is 285. That is our answer. 4,285. Now again, I've shown all the workings out in this example. Over a period of time, you won't need to do the workings because you'll be doing them in your head. But the only way you can do that is with practice. So that was the first example. We're now going to scroll down first and move on to our second example and a slightly different method. This time we have 9,342 minus 5,879. Okay, so we're going to start with the number on the right-hand side, the number we are subtracting. Okay, and our objective is to add numbers to this until we come to the number we're starting off with. Okay, so let's start with the units. We've got nine units on the right-hand side we're taking away. What number are we going to add to the nine to make it equal to two? Or more realistically, going to make it equal to 12. So nine plus what equals 12? The answer is three. 9 plus 3 equals 12. Because it equals 12, we're going to take a 10 to the right to the column on the left. So now we're going to do the tens. We can cross out the 7 and the 1 because that is now 8. Okay? That number has to equal 4, or more realistically, 14. 8 plus what equals 14? Well, the answer is 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. 
And because it's 14, there's a 10 there, so we move that across to the hundreds column. So now moving to the hundreds, we have got, not 8, but we've actually got 9 hundreds. We have to get that to equal 3, as it's stated on the left. But it's not really 3, it's 13. So 9 plus something equals 13. That's easy. 9 plus 4 equals 13. And we're carrying one over. 13. So we're now on to the thousands. We've got six thousands to begin with, and we have to equal 9. 6 plus what equals 9? The answer is 3. And that is our answer. 3,463. And it really is that simple. 3,463. Now again, this looks a little bit complicated. However, with a bit of practice, you'll soon get the hang of this. Now let's just scroll back up again and summarize. So that is how we do subtraction of two four-digit numbers using the horizontal format.